Welcome very much to this video. We are going to discuss prophylaxis of diphtheria. So this is very important, especially the immunoprophylaxis, the vaccination, because we are following a lot of uh, diphtheria vaccination, right? If you have seen any child's immunization schedule, you can see so many DPT, DPA, DAPTs in that. Have you ever looked at it? Let me show you it. See, at uh, six weeks, they are giving a DT, DTWP, okay, at a six week, that is DTP, DTAP vaccine or combinations. Then here you have at 10 weeks again, ha again at 14 weeks. Are you able to see what I'm trying to show? Do you see this D? All these Ds are diphtheria. Okay, so obviously, um, as it could be fatal, this disease, they are giving and it is vaccine preventable. So, they are giving diphtheria vaccination. Okay. Let's start with a video. Active immunization is done with diphtheria toxoid as it induces antitoxin production. Obviously, you know, na, active immunization means what you will give? The body has to make the antibodies. So, you will give diphtheria Again, I keep missing the H. Diphtheria toxoid is given. Body will make the antitoxin. And these are so good. These antitoxin are so good. Antitoxin can prevent all forms of all forms of diphtheria except again. I don't know. Prevent most forms of diphtheria, right? Except cutaneous, it cannot prevent, and it cannot prevent uh, elimination of carrier. It cannot do. So the this is the worst part. So though the person is vaccinated, he can become a carrier because it will go and sit in the pharynx right that's the problem with this <clears throat> this is one of the uniqueness of uh, diphtheria vaccination you can get vaccinated but you can still catch the infection and be a carrier okay that's why there's no herd immunity in diphtheria vaccination let's move on so we are discussing only what active immunization right so now let us look at diphtheria types of vaccine okay you have single vaccine single vaccine is diphtheria 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 toxoid then you have combined vaccines combined vaccines combined vaccines diphtheria not only diphtheria alone you will uh, give it give other uh, vaccines also together like uh, you have DPT. DPT will be diphtheria toxoid, that is a DT, pertussis whole component, and TT, tetanus toxoid. So you have a DT, T, and a TT, that is a diphtheria toxoid, pertussis whole cell component, remember, and TT, tetanus toxoid. Then you have a DAPT, obviously diphtheria toxoid. Pertussis, acellular pertussis, so this will not cause much of uh, fever, etc. This will be a little painless, D, D, A, P, T, acellular pertussis, pertussis, there are two S in pertussis, pertussis, S, S, I, S, okay, A, P, fine, and what is T, T, you know, tetanus toxoid, correct? Then you have something called as DT. I don't know why they didn't write that first. DT is having diphtheria toxoid and tetanus toxoid. Then you have a pertussis a whole cell one and a acellular pertussis one. Then there is a small d capital T one that is having small always means adult dose. Adult dose diphtheria toxoid will be there and TT tetanus toxoid. Okay. Actually, the one that they use now is pentavalent. I'm just trying to find out more about it. Hold on. Here you go. This is the one pentavalent. It has diphtheria, toxoid, pertussis, tetanus toxoid, hepatitis B and HIV. 
एच आई बी इज ह्यूमन इंफ्लुएंजा बी सॉरी हीमोफिलिस इंफ्लुएंजा बी ओके हीमोफिलिस इंफ्लुएंजा बी इज ऑल्सो अ बैक्टीरिया ओनली तो ऑल ऑफ दीज वर एक्टिव वैक्सीन कंबाइंड वैक्सीन डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दम डू यू हैव एनी डाउट Let me tell you more about DPT. Okay, DPT is the preparation of choice for vaccinating infants. Okay, it's the preparation of choice. However, as I told you, it can cause fever and all that. DAPT will not cause that much uh, fever. The A cellular one. Okay, why a DPT is preferred? Because uh, infants can be immunized simultaneously against three important childhood diseases. That's good, right? So they all are combined. Pertussis component acts as an adjuvant and increases the immunogenicity of DT and TT. So it is this pertussis one, which increases the immunogenicity of diphtheria toxoid and tetanus toxoid. Okay. How to prepare also has been given here. Uh, this diphtheria toxoid, how to prepare? Some formal method, alum method, and all other. We are not going into details of that. It's not required for you. Or formal is also called as fluid toxoid. Just remember, some alum is used and all that. That's not required for you. Okay. Also, we wanted to tell you that just like how active is available, even passive is available. Okay, even passive immunization is available, which will have what the antitoxins. Passive immunization is also available, and you can also give uh, a combination of these two also. Fine. So you can mention all that if you want. Active, passive, active plus passive you can do. Okay. All these combinations you can. There are their availability. Now types of active active vaccine we finished. D T, D P T, D A P T, small D and T pentavalent. Okay. Vaccination schedule is important. So you will give three doses at six week. Ten week, fourteenth week of birth. Okay, fourteen week of birth, followed by two booster doses. Booster doses you will get give at sixteen to twenty four month and five year. Totally five, correct? How do you give it? Site will be intramuscular, deep intramuscular, anterolateral aspect of thigh because. Infant, right? For infant, you will give anterolateral, anterolateral aspect of thigh. Gluteal region is not preferred because the fat present in the gluteal region may inhibit the DPT ab ab absorption. Okay. The DPT vaccine should be kept uh, at two to eight degrees centigrade. If accidentally frozen, it has to be discarded. You should not keep it at below that temperature. Okay, F temperature at which you should store two to eight degrees centigrade. If frozen, discard. Don't freeze it. So many rules are there, right? For this. Just in case you have slept, wake up, wake up, wake up. Call for you. Okay, so let's continue. Schick test, schick uh, positive schick test, schick test. Uh, it's not used now, but uh, they used to check whether the person is susceptible to diphtheria. Now it's not done much. Okay, so what else is there in immuno profile access to cover for diphtheria? Do you want us to cover anything more? No, everything good and happy. Good. So let's revise then. Okay, from here we have to start diphtheria profile axis. So there is active immunization, passive immunization, active plus passive also you can give. The thing with uh, diphtheria toxoid is uh, if you will give diphtheria toxoid, body will make own antitoxin. Antitoxin can prevent uh, most forms of diphtheria, but it will not prevent uh, cutaneous diphtheria. And people can still become carriers in the pharynx; they will carry the bacteria. Very good. Types of active vaccine. You have single vaccine where you have only diphtheria toxoid. You can give, or you can have combined vaccines where you have DT, DPT, DAPT, small D, and capital T pentavalent, etc. When and all should you give the vaccines at six weeks, ten weeks, fourteen weeks? Booster at sixteen to twenty-four months and five years. 
site you should give in uh, intra deep intramuscular actually and in infants antero or lateral aspect of thigh you can give you should store the vaccine at 2 to 6 degrees centigrade important if you freeze it you should discard it because whatever temperature they say you have to save it at that temperature okay otherwise there are a lot of adverse reactions uh, because of vaccinations if you avoid all these storage problems there will be no vaccine reactions at least because of storage Schick test uh, it's obsolete now you can use know whether the person is susceptible to diphtheria that's all for now tata bye bye